kind of worry about myself that, you know, I walk into a store and I see styrofoam headed Easter bunnies and I'm immediately like, well, yeah, of course I'm going to buy those. Hey guys, it's Michael Todd and welcome to the Cult of Vintage. Today's video, you guys, I think is going to be a little bit different. Um, we, today is Monday. It's approximately 11.04 a.m. Um, a lot of the antique malls that I do go to are closed Mondays and Tuesdays. It's kind of like their weekend so that they can be open um, on the weekend. You know, small businesses, you got to do what you got to do. So that said, we're going to kind of stay um, local. We're going to hit up, I think, three thrift stores and one or two antique malls. We're going to kind of see how it goes. You guys are going to follow along with me today on that adventure. It is going to be heavier reseller just because, again, we're going to be hitting up so many different stores. We're not necessarily going to be doing tours, if you will. We're really going to highlight the items that I am selecting or interested in um, for resale. Hey, you never know. Maybe we'll find a piece that I'm just like, I got to keep it. Not that that would ever occur, of course. I mean, you know. So, the first place that we are at, we are at a Salvation Army. It is extremely small. Um, so, I'm going to do my best to kind of film in here. I'll give you a shot of the exterior. It's in a beautiful... Um, they've got some great leaded glass up here. So, I will show you the exterior. I'll try to do my best on the interior. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead. Let's get to it, guys. All right, guys, here we are on the exterior. Again, beautiful historic building, but that is the Salvation Army. We're gonna get inside. Here we go. Alrighty guys, here we go on the interior. The first up we are seeing a little bit of Easter items kind of gathered together. I like that little light. He was a newer one, um, so we left him behind. I like this little flocked rabbit. Now he does obviously have some condition issues. However, he does appear to be with that barcode on there. A little bit of a newer one. Um, you know, vintage is in folks. So I left them behind because I want to keep it as close to vintage as possible. Not saying that I always get vintage because sometimes the aesthetics are just right. I uh, here we see, and I do believe this is like a little Czechoslovakian little bird planter. Unfortunately, that chip on the beak, that was too pronounced. Um, so I did leave him behind. However, this little bird, the peacock, now that little black spot is underneath the glaze. Um, so I do pick it up for just $4. Heck yeah. It is actually, as I found out, a McCoy. And speaking of McCoy, we have some little baby booties here. Again, only $4. This one... It's, it was, it's a little dirty. Had to clean it up some. We do have some glaze slip there. It's not a chip or crack. Um, and at $4, I thought it was super cute, especially uh, for spring or Easter. I thought little chicks coming out of that or an Easter bunny, that would be adorable. Again, speaking about vintages in, um, I saw this orange. It is like an acrylic plastic. Now, it very well could be vintage. However, I did elect to leave that one behind. I would have obviously preferred it to have been glass. And then speaking of glass, I did see this little Westmoreland. This is in the blue mist. You know, Westmoreland had to do everything in mist. It's blue mist. It's green mist. <laughs> it, it was a misty day. Um, it does have some chipping on it now and you'll see here it's only 79 cents so i do pick it up and i decided to kind of give it away as a freebie for one of my sales um we are headed now into kind of like their linen area and then i see it i love this color combination it is screaming mid-century i love it I love it. It is bright. It is cheerful. It is mod. Um, it's only $4. So heck yeah, we're going to pick it up. And right next to it, we are seeing this. It's an interesting color combination. Um, beautiful chevron here. And we do have some little tassels. Uh, neither one had any condition issues. It is for an Afghan. I think it is reading more masculine. So we do decide at $4 to go ahead and pick that one up. Um, I was excited by that one. 
Up next, we are going to see two of the Precious Moments Easter eggs. We have a 91 and 93. Now, if you haven't been able to join one of my live sales, something that we have been doing, and by we, I mean Misty and I, on Tuesdays at 1 p.m. Eastern, have been doing our little five and dime, where we each sell five items for $10 each. Now, these are priced at $3.99, um, so I do pick those up for that $10 sale. Not the biggest profit, um, but still want to bring value vintage to everybody. All right, we're going to wrap it up outside. Alrighty, well, there we have our Salvation Army. Uh, we got a couple of things. They're not the most stellar things, though I am very excited about both of those Afghans. <laughs> that green and yellow, I mean, that is screaming mid-century. Um, I mean, how good would that look on like a mustard colored, like one of those low rise, very square modern uh, couches? really good mm -hmm. all right so that wraps it up here we're gonna go off to our next place um we're going to hit up another thrift store i'll see you there guys hey guys here we are at our next location it's american rescue workers it is a large store though i will say it's kind of hit or miss we're gonna find out if today is one of those days where we find stuff or it's one where we don't let's get inside Alrighty, guys here we are on the interior i saw these these are the Sango, I almost called them Congo for some <laughs> They're Congo. Um, cute a little set here. Now it does say that there's eight pieces. It seems that there's two pieces. Maybe somebody picked up two and, and got to check those out. But the cups and saucers typically don't do that well for me. However, something that screamed my name were this hobbyist piece. These are a glass bottle underneath here. They're priced at $1.50 each, making the pair just $3. She's got a little jaundice there of the eyes, but that's okay. Um, they were in overall <laughs> really good condition. They were odd. They were trash-tastic-y. So, of course, we picked those guys up. Now, this piece really spoke my name. It is a child of Prague. It is a ceramic figurine. It is also a music box. Now, I did notice the uh, crack running along the front of it here. Um, yeah, and here we do, of course, have our music box portion. It is a, a Japanese piece. Um, I really wanted to get it. I thought it was really interesting. It was in, aside from the, the crack, I thought in overall good condition. However, part of his robe, and then I was like, wait. Do you see that gap there? That entire interior portion was broken away. Um, and at $7, I thought, oh, no. I mean, maybe for the right collector, um, they wouldn't mind it. But for reselling, that definitely was a no-go. What was a go was this hand-painted Portugal picture. I love this. This is probably one of my most favorite thrift finds of the day. It's bright. It's colorful. Um, I I love this. I think that it would be great as like one giant uh, blossom vase. This was really interesting. This is definitely outside of my norm. Uh, it's very bohemian. Uh, all of these woven gla grass ornaments. Um, we've got a variety of items in here and we're going to go ahead and open up the bag um some really interesting choices um this little lizard who is missing a foot but he's so bright and cheerful up next we're going to see a little fish here he does have a bell inside of him but again super cute super bright super cheerful uh you know you don't have to save these for christmas you could certainly use them year round now the lamb here i do ultimately end up discarding that um it just didn't really add any value to it this this piece was really interesting. We've got, again, a very bright and cheer cheerful little angel here. Um, I thought she was darling. The entire bag was only $3, so I most definitely picked it up because once I pulled out a shrimp, that sealed the deal. I mean, who doesn't need the shrimp? <laughs> Um, and then these were these little wooden carved dolls. There were three small ones and one large one, so we snatched those up. Now, here we are seeing a uh, vintage uh, child seat here. I loved the little stencil on here. It was priced at only $20, but there is no way I was going to ship that. But I thought it would be cute for vintage uh, plush. Here we are seeing a pattern called the Platinum Rose. Now, uh, I loved this piece. It is filthy, truth be told. Um, it is pearls, pearl... Pearl... <laughs> It's pearl. Uh, it's pearl. But I did clean this up, and you can take a polishing cloth to this lightly. And let me tell you what, it cleaned up beautifully. I love this piece. 
We are now in the salt and pepper shakers here, and I saw these little bisque swans. I thought they were mm, okay, so I left them behind. However, the piece that was really calling to me were these Lefton. These are manufactured by Lefton, and they are called the aptly named Bee Line. Look at the sticker is even in the shape of a bee. Even with a chip, I do pick these up. I got them for a dollar ninety nine. Um, they have tremendous resale value. It was a very limited edition line that Lefton did. The pieces are very difficult to find. Um, so I thought, you know what, these make absolutely darling little spring accoutrement to your vignettes or displays. So I definitely pick them up. Um, I'm very pleased with them. So yeah, guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up and move along. Alrighty guys. Well, another store down. Um, I'm really excited to get into that woven wicker, those ornaments. I mean, who doesn't need wicker ornaments? On their Christmas tree but those could be used year-round they're bright they're colorful they're cute I'm excited to see what other maybe little pieces um, are in there like those little wood, little wooden wor worry <laughs> the little wooden worry dolls try saying that four times fast I kind of worry about myself that you know I walk into a store and I see styrofoam headed Easter bunnies and I'm immediately like, well, yeah, of course I'm going to buy those. Concerned. All right, guys, well, that wraps it up here. We are headed off to our next location. I don't know if we're going to go to a thrift store, if we're going to go to an antique mall. We're going to kind of see how it goes and um, I'll see you there. Okay, here we are at our next two places. It is actually Lewisburg Antique Mall and back here, I'm going to Oh, look at the mess that I have. <laughs> It's a good will. It's a good will. It's a good will. But before we get in there, I had to get something to eat, and I am loving the Starbucks Impossible Breakfast Sandwich. If you've not tried this, try it. It's tasty. It's delicious. I don't know that it's healthy for you, but it still tastes good. So I'm going to have a quick a little uh, bite to eat here, and then we're going to get inside and go shopping. Okay. All right, we're going to go, I think, over to the Goodwill first. Then we're going to go into Lewisburg Antique Mall. I totally forgot Cindy um, Cindy J of Timeless Treasures um, on Instagram. I'll direct link her, her Instagram page down below in the description. Um, sent me a gift certificate for Lewisburg Antique Mall. So we've got that to spend um, today. It's going to be something for me. And um, so, yeah, that's cool. It's only March. I mean, it was to me in December. It's not like I've been here since then, but anyhow. <laughs> here we go. I mean, hey, you never know. You don't know till you try. No, you don't. Psych, it didn't burn down. It really didn't. Though I thought that I might catch on fire. Um, anyhow, we do see this great serving dish here. It is a USA, California, USA pottery. Unfortunately, with that chip on it being a utilitarian piece, I did decide to go ahead and leave it behind. Uh, and right above it were these vinyl, very mod, floral vinyl, um, little cushions, little camper cushions. Um, they were priced at $2.99 each. There is foam that is in them. I don't know how I feel about that. I would probably replace the foam. Um, I don't know. I kind of maybe regret not getting these because I think they could have been used as little storage or little travel caddies. So that's a regret. Not going to lie. <laughs> However, I did find this little wooden rocking horse. Now, there are little condition issues. Obviously, we got some paint wear. It looks like either a child or <laughs> an animal <laughs> got hungry, not on the little handles there. But in overall, really good condition. The hooves, the face. Um, so, yeah, why not? Picked it up. Um, I thought that was a good get. I mean, hey, that wooden rocking horse is cute. I'll take it. All right, guys, we're going to go into Lewisburg Antiques now. Let's check it out. All righty, guys, here we are checking out this beautiful Vaseline opalescent Victorian basket. I do believe that this thing would glow, and I bet you it's got a serious glow on it. Unfortunately, it really wasn't priced for resale. Um, we do have a Fenton Hobnail opalescent Vaseline glass. <laughs> adjectives fan vase again not really priced where i would want it to be for resale though i do think for a collector it was priced phenomenally 
here we have got some red ware. This is obviously a baby deer with another baby deer climbing up on his back. Uh, there's scotch tape on the red paint. Um, it did have a little bit more lifting as I got the tape off. However, that was the only condition issue and at only $10, that's, I didn't focus on it very well, but at $10, I did decide to go ahead and pick him up. I thought it made an absolutely darling little figural piece. Now I'm going to look. I did not buy anything from this vendor. However, there it was just the mid-century realness, folks. All of the glass, the overall setup. We've got a little bit of Weller pottery that you're seeing there. I thought it was beautiful. Again, um, sometimes it's not really about the items um, that I can pick up for resale, but it really is showing off the dedication and hard work of a lot of the vendors. I mean, you can really tell they were an enthusiast. There was an enthusiasm. Look at this gloriousness. You've got Ellie Smith, you've got Viking, you've got Fenton all put together. Oh my goodness. It, look at how it glistens and shines. Imagine those in your windowsill. Again, even more mid-century glass. Um, nothing was really speaking to me until I saw this amber colored uh, vase. Look at that. Only $69. I think that would be fantastic for a collector. I think that's priced very reasonably and very fair. Um, unfortunately, not where I would want it to be for reselling because, again, having to figure in shipping um, and gas prices are going up. So shipping, I have already seen the prices has gone up. We've got some Empoli decanters back here. Again, super love. No mid-century home is complete without some swagalicious uh, lamps here. These, again, only $100. Look at the filters, the light filters in those. Fantastic condition. Great deal at only $100. Now, this is this vendor has been here before, um, and they really completely changed up their looks. The thing that was really calling my name was this Matlock's um, Pinocchio cookie jar. Unfortunately, his feather was broken and repaired, and he did have a pretty significant chip there on the tip of his nose. Um, I absolutely love this piece. It is darling. It's super kitschy, very valuable. Um, I will say that if you can find him in good condition. Now, that gift certificate, I have featured this Victorian basket before. Um, it does have some flea bites along the ruffle. It's hard to kind of pick up on camera. This is what I decide to get for myself. Thank you very much, Cindy J. I love it very much. It's beautiful. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to wrap it up outside. Well, we didn't find a whole lot there in Lewisburg Antique Mall today. That's okay. That's just kind of the name of the game. Um, though I am very pleased with our Victorian basket. Thank you very much, Cindy. I appreciate it. All right, guys. Our final destination of the day is Street of Shops in Lewisburg, Pennsylvania. We're going to get in here. They have over 500 vendors. We're going to see if we can't find anything. What I love most about the Street of Shops is, is that there is such a vast array of items um, that includes new to vintage to antiques. Um, there's a lot to see, so let's get in here. All right, guys, it's raining. Let's get inside quick. All righty, guys, we are, Street of Shops is hitting it off hard. We have got a beautiful Rosenthal porcelain figurine. It looks very Snow White to me. Um, I did end up purchasing this piece. I am going to keep it on the interim. We'll see how it goes in the future. There are no chips, no repairs. I mean, at only $75. Yeah, we picked it up. And talking about a deal, we have got some beautiful slag glass, or as Jay has informed me, it's Fenton marble because, you know, Fenton got to be fancy. It was only $9.50. Obviously, the cabbage rose pattern, so we do pick it up. And of course, my most favorite vendor in the street of shops. How you doing, girl? Um, we have got a Royal Copenhagen. It is a trinket dish. It is a little mermaid on there in a very Art Nouveau style. The thing that I love about Royal Copenhagen is that it's very easy to identify the date that the pieces were manufactured. This was specifically made in 1963. I um, mean, we know that because the underline underneath the E. Uh, there are some chips on it, but I got it. Are you ready for this? For only $7.99. Um, so we're going to keep it. Are you shocked? <laughs> 
This piece I'm having to do some research on, and I have been researching this thing for three days. Um, it This cover I have not been able to identify. Uh, it is a beautiful UK or English at the time uh, publication, originally published in 1937, obviously from Oxford University Press. Um, it is Marcy Brown and Mr. Grimes. It's a beautiful story, amazing illustrations. The pages are blank um, to avoid bleeding um, because if they would press on two sides, the ink would become overly set. Look at that. Oh, the original publication goes for a couple hundred dollars. So again, I'm looking at this thing um, and having a hard time. Lucy Brown, pardon me. Here we have got some Roosevelt. It was priced for only $25 in the Magnolia pattern. There is a small, and I do mean small chip, on one of the Magnolia petals. And at only $25, I thought, heck yeah, it's a great introductory piece. So I do snag that one. All right, guys, this is the end of the video here. Oh, I didn't catch the Fenton, darn it. Darn it. Well, that got bougie at the street of shops, didn't it? Excuse me. So really excited about some of those finds. I think we did great. Um, I'm super excited about the book. I'm interested to know if it is like a second edition or if it's just missing its desk cover. Um, have to check into that. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, until next time, remember, keep it rusty, crusty, and dusty. Bye, guys.